I'm here today as uh, a backup to someone you see in your program. My boss, Ravi, couldn't make it, so if you're confused by the program, I'm sorry. So I'm Chad. Today we are going to discuss how technology is changing cities. What, as a company, Dell EMC, our goal is really not to just make technology. What we believe technology can do is change everything. As we think about how that happens, though, there's a number of things we should discuss. Because we can imagine a city of the future uh, in this discussion. We'll you know, embrace adaptive change principles and then realize what a scalable solutions really can do. So those are the three kind of agenda items I am going to walk through. Now, as you think of a city of the future, the city of the past has really been something that has been designed around very specific principles. But cities are really designed for us. They're designed for us to work and live together. But if we work and live together, there are requirements that we need as a group. There are things that we need that are just our basics. If you want to think of those basics, you think of the water, you think of electricity, gas, waste, all the basic utilities that have been around for many years in any society in the world. Those are the things that we need to do to just start. Well, the key though is really that a fifth utility has come about. It's much of what we've just all been discussing. The fifth utility is a digital world. If you ask my kids, they probably care about this one almost more than anyone else. If their wireless goes down, if they can't have access to a video game or anything else, this is the one that drives them nuts first. But that is where the world is going, a digital world. The great thing is a digital world really can help us all. It also can help because as we all come together in a city, the challenges raise. You know, as we look at the percentage of people moving towards a large urban environment, more and more of us are moving to a city. Three-fourths of people will be in a large urban environment by the year 2050. That's most of us, but that causes a lot of challenges. As we want to think about those challenges, though, you have, you know, aging, unplanned infrastructure. In the United States, in the last number of years, we've talked about bridges, power lines, all infrastructure we have must be uh, challenged, it must be watched, it must be updated, and that's a very hard thing when more and more people are, are coming. You have to think about as a city, how do we environmentally sustain? How do we do all of that with a, you know, a declining budget? That is the thing that all cities are dealing with. How do we do all of these things and do more with sometimes less? This is really where you can think of a city that can be connected as an amazing potential. It can really change the way that humans interact with each other. Imagine, imagine optimizing traffic flows in real time. Imagine being able to reduce energy consumption because you're planning for it because you're ready for it, because you know where energy is going at all times. Being able to you know, predictively uh, police where uh, your best people need to go. Being able to plan for where you need to make sure that the police are at all times. Improve city functions. Improve the functions of being able to get things where they need to be to serve the most people in the best way. Detect air and uh, water quality. All of those things, including waste management, can be done through a digital society. Those are the type of things as like we think of a Dell EMC. It's not about just making technology. We want to make technology that serves the people. That is what we try to do to make solutions that actually help. And that is really where you know, we think about it as Technology is truly interwoven in our lives now, more than it ever has been before. You know, previously, the, the different utilities were all that we really needed to be a basic. Now, 
you have something where a digital world can truly enable all of the rest. A digital world helps create an ecosystem. An ecosystem that where gas, water, waste, electricity are all tied together. A digital world makes all of those better. If we want to even think about how we can use uh, a digital world to do things like, well, we'll take an example on here of flood management. Flood management, if we can get, if we, there is a flood that happens, you can get your, through a digital world, police quickly to the right place. You can get ambulances to the right place. You can help people mobilize to leave at the right time. If you can do all of that quickly and easily, a digital world can truly serve the people in a manner that we have never seen in human society. And that is really where, as we think of utilities and what a digital world can do for a city, it can really speed up everything to help us all. And as we think of where smart cities then will, will go, all of that is just going to create a ton of data. We just show, saw a picture of a car. I mean, if you think of a smart car, it, it does like two gigabytes of data a second. Now what you can't do is have that data be run somewhere else, or you can't have latency, because you don't want your smart car having to think before it takes an action. And that is where you know, things like edge computing, Internet of Things, IoT, all of those things are so important to help produce that data at the right time, at the right place, and then be able to use that data. That is what something like artificial intelligence or deep learning is designed to do. Deep learning is designed to take advantage of that data. If deep learning is something where you could get the police force proactively to a location because you are planning ahead, because you've analyzed the data you have to know where the people are needed, to know where the resources are needed at any one time. And that is what we are working on to try to make sure that we are helping. There are something like 8 billion connected devices today. All of those people are going to need the data to help them in their lives. And that's what we think that digital technology can actually do. That is the, the technology that can drive it to help our users be better. Now this third part here, as we think about what it can do, the true key is making it all connected. A digital platform is usually something that runs in a number of different ways. You know, at Dell EMC we believe that you know, it's not just us that can come up with great technology. Dell has in the past three years has spent $12 billion in research and development. That's an amazing amount of money. But we also don't think that we're the only ones that come, can come up with great ideas. It's where we leave the world to come up with great ideas. Because So we make technology that is open. We make technology that is very agile and easy to change. We work very hard to make it sure it is secure. And then as we think about where technology is going, data analytics, software-defined infrastructure, and software. All of those are designed to help us provide technology that is you know, better for energy, services, security, banking. We, pro we produce technology that helps in all kinds of different infrastructure and all kinds of different companies globally. We have deep root roots in the Silicon Valley. We have deep roots in China. We're number one server provider, for example, in China, and the United States, and other places, because we believe we listen to our customers, and we're truly striving to make our, the world a better place. And with that, really what we, we have believe is that there's a number of different ways technology will be implemented. And that's really what we are working through for what and how we deliver technology to all of our users, everyone because this is the way technology is needed. There's kind of probably going to be a core infrastructure. If you think of a core infrastructure, it's data in a giant location that's probably servers, storage, networking, all very secure, all designed doing things like deep learning, artificial intelligence, all managed very seamlessly and easily, automated. Those are the types of technology we're working on and have today. But it's also things that we have to make sure it is connected easily. The smart car is a great example of something that is something like an edge computing. Those things are everywhere. They're not running in just a data center. 
so that it has to be connected back somewhere quickly, but it also has to be smart enough to perform the actions you need it to perform immediately, without latency, without uh, breaking down very quickly. It all can also be connected via cloud. You know, the cloud is a great place for making sure that we have uh, a combination of the ways that you run your, your technology in a simple and easy manner, or provide that to users in just a simple and easy manner. Cloud is an amazing way to do that. Dell kind of supports a public cloud, private, hybrid. All of those are great ways to make sure your, your technology is in the place you need it and easily accessible. So as we think of what we have done there, you know, we've provided all kinds of different types of technology, locations, that has led really to the way that we think about it as a very deep portfolio. Deep portfolio to try, truly is designed, though, to help integrate complete solutions. Uh, Dell Technologies, EMC, we really have done a lot of stuff of like edge devices. We have a ton of core devices. We have a ton of cloud devices. We have a ton of software such as VMware, RSA, SecureWorks. All of those are truly designed to help enable technology and companies and environments. So we also have all things, kind of things like IoT devices. We have services professionals that can actually help globally to deliver that technology in a faster, more expert-defined way. So that has led to kind of us having a broad portfolio. I know this is kind of a lot on a slide to see. You know, as you think about it, truly what we are trying to do is this top thing, user experience. How do we provide to you or to any of your users a, an experience that solves the challenge that our cities, for example, need? How do we tie electricity in, to parking, to sewer? How do we make sure that smart lights happen? How do we make sure that we can help get police, ambulances, using our technology to the right places to help the people? to help the city. That is what we are trying to do with everything that we are doing with all of our technology. How do we make it an easy way for us to use and uh, be used in turn in a, in a way to make cities better? Now there's a couple of exa different examples here that I've provided. Uh, here's just kind of a good one. You know, the city of Virginia Beach, they did a flood sensor network using Dell technology. We're really helping them achieve a mission that they, ha they set apart for themselves to deliver flood sensor technology so that their people were safe, so that the city was enabled to help. Here's another one, good one in China. You know, they were looking for an intelligent cloud. They partnered with, with Dell EMC to be able to do that, a private cloud to help improve transportation services, to help lights, to get uh, rescue professionals into the right place at the right time. That is the type of technology we can do. And here's the last one of like city analytics. A city has a lot of data. A city has a lot of different groups. Historically, the police didn't always have the data that let's say a, the firemen did or somebody running a hospital. If we can help all of those groups be connected in a platform as a service type level, then you have a new way to serve a city in a digital, easy, simple manner that gets the services that the people truly need. And when they're all connected like that, for a city it actually costs less because you're providing a, a better solution that everyone can share. So those are just some good examples of what we are trying to do as Dell Technologies. You know, really as you think of us as Dell Technologies of what we are trying to help us serve the people through technology. We have really, as you think of us, we are unrivaled in our expertise as one of the largest IT providers in the world. We really do have a data-driven perspective of we are trying to help solve challenges that way with great partners, great outreach globally, and you know, we have great things from financial services to everything else that we do. So, as we think of where cities are going, Dell Technologies is hopefully there to help provide the solutions that our users need, but is also there to truly enable what our, our customers need. And that is a better city. That is, we can use di digital technology to create that today. That is an exciting time and place for all of us to be, because this hopefully is something that is better, leads to better cities than what any of us have ever had before. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jim.